As you may know, racing isn't always pretty. You experience the high of the highs and the low of the lows, both very real emotions and both on two extremes. When things are going good, you can't imagine doing anything else in the world. When things are going bad, you ask yourself, why in the hell are you even doing this in the first place? A sport that can bring grown men to their knees, and when people aren't looking, even tears to their eyes. It's something that you want more than anything, something that fulfills your soul in a way that only some people can understand. And this year hasn't been kind. It's been a tough one to say the least. We've been screwed over, ripped off, and just plain had bad luck. Three motors in, three motors out. If the problems weren't all completely different, I'd swear it was me the whole time. But it wasn't. It's just how things happen sometimes. However, there has come some positivity this year after all the circumstances that we've been through. It's made me step back and take a look from the outside looking in. A view from not inside the garage, but outside the doors. A view that I couldn't see when I was blinded by the glory of racing. It's made me realize something that I just wasn't paying attention to. My entire life I felt defined by what I do, and racing is something that I do. Stepping back outside the box has given me the ability to appreciate other things in life besides my passion of racing that has cast a shadow on everything else. My family, my career, walking my dog down the street, enjoying the sunshine, weird shit like that. And it made me realize that friendships and happiness is really what it's all about. Life is fun. Life is supposed to be fun. And it's not supposed to be easy. But it's easy for us to forget what the whole purpose is in the first place. The truth is, happiness does not live in Victory Lane. It lives in our hearts every day of our life. The question is, when are we going to realize it? Are we going to realize it? Because we really need to. This journey is so much more than the plastic trophies, the cash, or the wins. Personally, I've always thought that, well, that's what mattered and that's all that mattered. But being out of the seat and forced away from something that I wanted to do because of circumstances out of my control, I realized that it's time to enjoy life. It's about working on cars with people you actually care about. It's about making the memories that are gonna last a lifetime so when you're so old you can't drive, you can still laugh. It's about holding onto the wheel loose, not firm. Yeah, we all work for first place. We all want those checker flags, but we're a fool not to finish third and enjoy the ride if we left it all out there on the track. Let's face it, racing is expensive and we can't all afford to buy the best parts that the other guys can buy. We can't all be equal because money runs the sport, but we can appreciate what we do and understand the journey along the way. Happiness should be our number one priority, not success. It's the first time I've ever said that. Happiness is the victory. Success is just a byproduct of what comes with the happiness. And if you can succeed and you can win, you're winning. But if you can be happy, you just figured the game out. This video blog has nothing to do with me stepping away from a sport that I love because that will probably never happen. It does, however, have everything to do with a journey called chasing a dream. And I will be back soon. I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at and how things might have changed just a little bit. It doesn't take anything away from where we're going, but it sure does change the game on how we get there and how much fun we have along the way. I'm Gannon Pritchard. This is Chasing a Dream, guys. Thanks for hanging with us. Stay tuned. We're not finished, not even close.